today. So you will need some flour, some salt, some oil, some cream of tartar but don't worry if you don't have any and some paint or food colouring so whatever your favourite colour is you can choose and some water, some warm water. So if you have all of that and you've got a bowl and a spoon, then let's get started. So, what you will need is your plain flour, so a cup of plain flour you will need. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it into our cup. So pour your flour into the cup. Right to the top, Kirsten. Right to the top. <laughs> right to the top. Yes, so right to the top, so we need to pour it into our bowl. Oh, let me like that. And then we need a half of cup of salt. So pour your salt into the cup, but only halfway up, not to the top <laughs> this time. <laughs> oh, so you can see halfway. And then mix that in with your flour. So we don't need the cup anymore. So we need cream of tartar if you've got it, as Katie said. So Kirsten, just pour that in. Then pour your cream tartar into the flour and salt. Right, just like that. Are we mixing yet? We are mixing, yes. We've got to mix it all. Oh, mix it. So everyone get your spoons. All together. Good mixing, Kirsten. Thank you. <laughs> right, so Kirsten needs some water being poured into my cup. To the top? Uh, yeah, just a little bit away from the top so we can pour in some oil to mix in the so water. Nearly at the top everybody. And then, oh, Kirsten's gonna add the oil. So you're adding it to the water, Kirsten. I am adding it to the water. Right, so pouring it on Just top of the water. A little bit like that. And then you can watch it bubble. Oh, it's bubbling. <laughs> Have a look in your cup everybody and see what the oil is doing. Can you see ours? Ours has bubbled right to the top. Have you got bubbles? So I so just need some paint so I can Ooh. put to make so it go nice and We have chosen green. So Kirsten is going to put it in with oh. the oil. Oh. So you're adding your paint into your water and oil like everybody. That. So then you've got to mix it in or if you've got any food coloring in just carry on mixing just Keep like this. Mixing. Just like that and now Kirsten is going to pour it. I don't know if you can see it guys so it's going to nice green colour. So Kirsten's going to pour it into our mixture, just like that. And then you've got to mix it all around. So everyone going to mix. Doing it very carefully. So and it's a bit watery now. <laughs> just carry on mixing until the Play-Doh's all gone, uh, the flour, because it gets stuck up. Yeah, so Kirsten is just mixing all of the flour from the bottom because it does get stuck just a little bit. So Kirsten's done that. So it doesn't look like this, <laughs> it's still a bit watery. It is so what a do little... we need to do now? So Kirsten needs to add some more flour. So, so if your play is a bit watery. So Kirsten's just adding in some more flour, just a tiny little bit like that, and then just carry on mixing and it should get thicker like play dough. Oh yeah. There we are, look at it's that. It's not so watery anymore. No. Maybe Kirsten needs a little bit more. <laughs> so keep adding flour until, until it, it gets is. lumpy like Play-Doh. Just a little bit more. Ah, there we are. Ah. And then if you need to guys, you can put your hands in and get <gasps> mixed in. <laughs> Okay, so it's just going to mix it around. It does get sticky, but that's okay. And then I think Kirsten does need a little bit more flour, guys. 
And then what Kirsten's going to do, she's going to take it out of the box and then she's going to mix it with oh, her table. Look at that. And then it should start to knead all together again. Look at that. That's much better. Doesn't matter if you've got plate, uh, flour left over because then you can just keep mixing it once you're playing with it if it gets a little bit sticky. So yeah, there we have <laughs> some Play-Doh. And then you can enjoy it with cutters, making any sort of shapes. You can practice your scissors, so you can use your scissors to cut the Play-Doh.